Hey guys, it's me Tolha. In this video, we will be modeling this bench uh, in Revit, which is designed by Ihab Al Hariri. Make sure to check out his Instagram. If you want to learn uh, how to create this kind of architectural uh, sketches, you can uh, check out his course. The link is in the description. And if you want to learn uh, advanced Revit modeling, you can uh, check out my website, learnrevitonline.com. And to download this, uh, family along with other 60 plus Revit project files you can check out my patreon the link is in the description now let's get started so here I'm in Revit and first we'll create a new family template here so let's go to file new family and here let's go to English Imperial folder if you are working in metric units you can just go to this English folder let's look for generic model here we have it generic model let's open this up and first I'm going to create uh, some reference planes here first I will create on this side and then another one here now let's select this one and just make this uh, 5 feet and on this side as well 5 feet because we want to create 10 feet uh, long uh, bench here we are not going to create a parametric Revit family we'll just uh, model uh, just a normal uh, Revit family I just created this to use them as a reference now first we want to uh, we want to create this vertical uh, part of this bench so for that we can use sweep let's go to create select sweep then sketch path and i'll just use arc let's create an arc here so we got something like this i will just extend this a little bit on this side later on we'll cut this using white now let's click finish and go to 3d and we'll create a profile here so let's select profile and then edit profile and let's go to this right view here and then i'm just going to create a rectangle like so and then just change the width of this one foot three inches and the height should be four feet now we, uh, we want to uh, create an arc here so for that we can use fillet arc and check this radius and i want to give a two inch radius here and just select these two lines and here as well and then uh, let's click finish model and click finish again and there you go we have created this cool looking shape now to create uh, this sitting part i'm going to use blend so let's go back to revit and go to uh, the top view here and let's go to create select blend and uh, if you notice here we have this uh, two different uh, shape for the seating part so first let's create the base profile let's use pick lines and just pick the edge here edge of this uh, sweep and then we can create a straight line one foot six inches maybe and then we can just create an arc here to select the midpoint of this arc and just trim this line tr perfect uh, we need to trim here as well so we got something like this now let's select all of these and just copy this Control c and then click edit top and paste the profile which we have just copied and i will just quickly move this place it here now uh, let's select this arc and use arrow keys on the keyboard to uh, just increase the size of this like so and let's click finish you see you got some uh, this kind of a shape now we'll just quickly change the height of this uh, extrusion let's make it one foot ten inches enter perfect let's quickly repeat the same process uh, on this side as well now if i zoom in here you see we have these uh, sharp edges on this extrusion 
so to make the smooth edges we can use void sweep so let's go to create select void sweep from this drop down and then select pick path and pick the edges here i'll just quickly change the visual style to hidden line so we can uh, see these edges clearly now let's click finish and i will just go to the front view here and let's create the profile I will just copy this so we can uh, use this with the other extrusion as well. Perfect. So we got this uh, smooth edge. Let's repeat that on this side as well. We still have to cut this uh, sweep. So for that we can use void extrusion. Let's go to the top view here and go to create select void forms void extrusion and then just create a rectangle here and we'll create another one on this reference plane and then we can just drag uh, just uh, select this extrusion and just drag it through the sweep there we go now uh, we still have to create this uh, void here to create the led light here so to create that we can use void again so i will just go to right view and go to create select void extrusion and just set the word plane first just select pick a plane and pick this face here by pressing tab key and then we can use pick lines and give it an offset one inch maybe and just hover over the edge here and hit tab key a couple of times okay we are still in uh, this offset is selected so we first need to click somewhere uh, here and then we can hover over this edge and hit tab key a couple of times to highlight this and then click okay just click and join elements now we want to create uh, the offset on this side so let's pick these edges and then we can use tr and just uh, trim these lines okay this one you can just delete that and then this one also we should delete and then use trim and extend again and just extend this line and then we can use fillet arc and just turn on the radius uh, two two inches should work fine let's pick these corners and okay here we have some issue just delete that and there you go let's select this void if you're unable to select this you can just simply select the sweep and this voids also get highlighted you can just simply select the other one by pressing tab key and go to front view and we'll just drag it through this line and this face as well let's leave it here so we got this kind of shape here now i will just quickly repeat this on this side as well so this cool looking bench is ready let's assign material uh, to these uh, generic models just make a selection like this and then filter and uncheck uh, void click ok and we can just click on this little button to open up this uh, family parameter dialog box then we can uh, click here again to create a new material parameter let's call it main material and then click ok ok again and then we can go to manage and materials and i will create uh, two new materials here we'll just call it bench material and then we can just open up the asset browser and select a material from here let's use this one and i will create another one for led and then we can just open up the asset browser again and go to glass here and scroll down here and here we have these led materials let's use this one and you can change the color here as well 
now to apply uh, those materials to these uh, extrusions we can just go to the family properties and here we have this material let's select the this bench material which we have just created and then click ok and to use the led material on this uh, faces here we, uh, we we need to use paint tool so let's go to modify and select paint uh, tool from here and then select the led light and just apply that to these faces and if i change the visual style to realistic you'll be able to see these materials and we have created this cool looking bench family here so that's all i have for you guys today i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my revit advanced courses and to download this family you can check out my patreon the links are in the description and yeah i will see you guys in the next video